Yes. Thank you very much, Paul, indeed. Game three now between Team Liquid and Newbie. Our Modi Pixel Army was we just had the drafts, and Cinderin, we're getting some Death Profit play here on the main stage, and not any old Death Profit, it's a miracle DP. This is a total change of pace from Liquid. I love seeing stuff like this, where the first two games were pretty similar in style, and now they figure, based on the opposing competition, and maybe just to throw a curveball, they're changing it up quite a lot. This is way higher pace as a lineup. It is which made much more centered around taking down towers. They've got the Lycan, they've got the Death Prophet early, they've got the Nature's Prophet with the with the Trance. And then on the other side, Newbie are a bit more similar to what they've run so far. Excellent team fight, lots of stuns, lots of lockdown. Um, however, I think the Sven pick might end up being better than it should have been in a sense. Okay. So they chose okay. it. They chose it as a counter pick to Lycan specifically Absolutely. in the first phase. Yeah. And when you look at Liquid's lineup, it's really physically heavy. Death Prophet Ultimate, Lycan himself. Nature's Prophet is a lot about physical damage later on into the game as well in general. So there are some itemization options here for Newbie and activating the Sven. I think is going to be absolutely crucial for them. But loving the picks this game. It's going to be great. It should hopefully be a real clash of this uh, kind of culmination of the series. The series, it's been a, a very up and down affair. Game one, Newbie strong from the start. Game two was where it started to take a bit of a turn. Newbie may have had that early game that was strong, but Liquid hit back hard as Miracle raised his game to his maximum potential on a TA performance that blew us away. And this game three. Let's see how we're going to kick things off. Top lane, KP. I'm young if we could go for some sort of the cheap play, but begins. hard to do so with Matuma having the backup of Kuro. <laughs> Lane-wise, it doesn't look to be anything too out of the ordinary. Everyone keeping their safe lanes to the safe lane and running those solo offlaners. Do you think either of these kind of side lanes, these off lanes, going to have a hard time against the, the safe lanes of the opponents? Mm -hmm. Not that hard. I think this is a really good lane for Legion, and I think it's a really good lane for Nature's Prophet as well, especially if this uh, Earth Spirit is going to focus on mid and immediately running on Miracle here. My team's killed the Spirit Siphon. Oh, he's holding his point for now. There he goes. Now he's killed it. Um, but yeah, this, this lane I think is really important because didn't really work out there for Kuro this time around. I think Liquid want to try to play this as fast as possible early on with a lot of pressure and power, and then depending on their success, they might have to adapt a different strategy in lane. Miracle's Miracle. getting really low here, being pressured hard by Kaka and the CC. And it's giving us an strip C and a lot of space to get this strong start in the mid lane. And yeah, not only really just how well each off lane is going to do, but how much they're able to do in terms of hindering the safe lane farm of their opponents as uh, both Sven and Lycan, two heroes that uh, it's not too hard to get a, a good few CS or two really in those safe lanes and so uh, if they want to try and stop them those off lanes they're going to have to harass them out and neither likely to do so with both teams having that support combo safe and sound mid lane Kuroki coming in and trade a few hits back with S triple C Miracle almost certainly calling for a bit of backup to that early pressure that was being applied by the two members of Newbie to himself. Miracle's actually winning this lane really hard right now because, yes, he may have needed to use the Sal. Oh, they even killed a Courier there. Mind Control will die. I think Earth Spirit was in range for experience there. Uh, but anyway, what ended up happening here in mid is that they tried to pressure this DP a lot with the Earth Spirit, but as a result, they shared experience on Ember and Earth. And now SCC's level it's 1 against the level 3 Death Prophet. This is really difficult right now. And I imagine, even though, say, it, I mean, it did look like the Earth Spirit did get the killing here. But yeah, that triple C, he's going to go out and down. That's your first blood for Liquid. And at the end of the day, that, that Courier Snipe play will make a huge difference in the mid lane. The fact that you've then gone ahead and got the first blood for your, for your middle, I, I, suddenly, this game three beginning is a totally different start to that that Liquid had earlier this series. This is a big early game advantage, I would say. Just two and a half minutes in, if you can have this kind of an advantage, it's already looking good for you, especially with a lineup like Liquid's that wants to just build this advantage up quickly and then look to push towers. 
And then based on their success, if it goes great, they'll keep pushing towers. If it gets harder in the mid-game, they're also good at split pushing. The main problem with that is that there's an Ember on the opposing side, but if you play around it well, opportunities are plenty for Liquid in this game. Oh, unlucky shards from Kuro. That's it. We'll push a might actually, CCC out. Might have been lucky at the end of the day. If they commit on that kill and Earth Spirit rolls in next to the tower and they've changed, they could have killed Kuro there on the tower, possibly. But they didn't get baited to go for it because they didn't land the shards. One thing that we can certainly look to try and use against it is the fact that this Earth Spirit is hitting some very quick levels. Level 3 of the third minute. That is a lot of potential from Kaka. Absolutely. But it's just hard to find kills in mid. First of all, I really like the DP into Ember in lane. Just having the Spirit Siphon, Ember has to run next to to deal damage with Flame Guard, and then he can break the Flame Guard pretty easily. We're going to probably see that exact thing just now from Miracle. Kickback as well to buy some time. Is the heal going to be enough to keep him alive? He's got the backup of Kuroki. Looks to try and block them off with the shards. Won't slow down as Triple C, but forces Kaka to back off. Miracle's now able to turn. GH has come in with the rotation. Mind Control joins the crew as well, and Liquid. Pick up a second kill in the mid lane, as Triple C taken down two times. It just really feels like Liquid have read uh, kind of the situation in terms of what was, they were struggling with in Game 1 and Game 2. You know, these were both games early in the series where as Triple C, he was getting the double kills, he was getting the first person mid lane. This time round, Liquid are making sure the exact opposite of that happens. I feel like, from a drafting perspective, this DP is like a stroke of genius from Pearl, personally, and as far as the laning stage goes. I still have my concerns later on as far as the, their ability to take team fights into this massive stun lineup with a lot of uh, a lot of damage and armor from from newbie. But just for the purpose of playing this mid lane DP is amazing. It's hard to play against for em or Ember already, and Earth Spirit also doesn't want to roll into the Spirit Siphon. You saw that play; they committed almost everything, and still didn't break down Miracle and end up trading their Ember Spirit away from them. See now though, mid lane, newbie very much wanting to find something in return. They throw three heroes That's down. And I, it gets the kill done. It was needed. I, if we saw them go for that again with just two sim, it may have just gone south like the previous attempts. Yep. I like this from newbie, even if even though it failed, they're taking advantage of Spirit Siphon's long hold. A nice kill by Liquid, by the way, here at top. Again, combining a lot of heroes, we're going to see them push into the tower here. They should be able to claim this as well. I don't think yeah. there's going to be any response from newbie with four heroes beating into this top lane, mind control joining the forces. Radiant structures are fought And it's, as you said from the draft, it's already seeming to be just a much faster pace game that they could want to play. And that could be one of newbie's weaknesses. Makes it trouble it. Taking a blast, KP will purge the slow off. And that looks like it will be enough to save Silence at Kaka, teeping across from the shrine. So if they want to fight Liquid fairly low on mana, it doesn't look like that's enough to, to allow Newbie to really get stuck in. As mid lane, Miracle, continue to apply the pressure. Some damage done onto the tier one. Very close to hitting the level six. Miracle's Curb Swarm currently completely removed from the guard. We are rolling in mid lane. Kick back on Miracle. They do have the chain set up. Miracle. Is the heal going to be enough? He has got presence of Grokey and Mind Control turning up, and that will be enough for the time being. It's a deep, deep snowball, though, for Grokey as they dive the tower. They're looking for a triple C. They will find him. Miracle getting chucked down by the gold string for the movement speed. It could be too fast. Roll four from Kaka. Miracle looking for the Jukes. It doesn't matter. U9 comes in with a second gold string smack and brings him down. It's a two for one at the moment. GH. Now turning up, but a great boulder smash from Kaka into the silence. Grabs two, and Newbie will pick up the double for U9. This is like so different from the previous two games. It's as if two different teams are playing almost. Especially Liquid really turning on the heat here. Great counterplay from Newbie, however, and they need to bring this Ember into the game. It's so important that these plays work out because SC is still, he has a lot of catching up to do. He's still very low level, full level and a half behind Miracle in this mid lane. And the guy who's quietly just building himself up is Matumba. Sven has been sure, he's involved been left in alone. fights. Matumba's just farming on this Lycan. And top of the network and the Mona Matumba will be going for, of course, that Mask of Man is build. Uh, the question is kind of where he goes from then. Is he going to be going to the Mask of Man on this armlet? As we mentioned earlier, me and you before the game, do you think he has to prioritize the defusal quite early to deal with the war cry of Sven? Or can he go for a vision? Or is a BKB going to be a necessity uh, very, very early this time? I think Armlet is really difficult to use in this game. You're against Flame Guard, yep. you're against Magnetize, you're against Curse, uh, Arcane Curse from the Silencer. Um, he might still get it just for the immediate burst of health when he goes in, and because it's so extremely valuable stat-wise for the Lycan. 
Uh, but the BKB, I think, is a really good call. It, it is going to be a necessity on their course. We might even see one of DP in this game at some point. I'm curious to see his build as well. There's, there's multiple options here for uh, Mid lane. Only pressure a little bit. U9 after coming in for that very successful fight. Using his presence to push down the tier 1. Has got strength back up and available again. Notification will be popped. Liquid wanting to fight. Matuma ready to lead in here with the ultimate form. Goes straight for U9. Holds it back with the Stormhammer. GH will hit the slow. Matuma man. It's a hard, hard play for him to move up to the high ground for more. The war cry is out. That armor just a little too much really for Matuma to dive in and, and try and bring down heroes into the cover of the moment. seeds of fortune. Good play from Liquid though. They got the bottom tower and this is their mid tower at the same time. Making very, very good use so far of the Nature's Prophet, in my opinion. They found himself a little bit of a free action here, potentially. He does have a duel. In fact, the uh, snowball enough to ward him to TP out. Down towards the bottom lane, where they've actually fought out mind control. Good TP from KP to get the bigger duel win, as he brings down the Fury and puts his hold to this tier 2 push down bottom. Now, Legion is... It's getting pretty big here. Level 8. Eight and a half minutes in as an offlaner, very high level on KP. Farm is also looking pretty good for him. And that's something to keep in mind as well. The blade mill can be very, very dangerous. It's both life and the death profit. Nine farming a stack here. He's going to get probably a top of the net worth from this stack. Or it's pretty close. Ah, he's just shy by 30. I think about to creep out. Ah, those two creeps there. Should do it. At least put him on the same level. As Matumba Man and pretty much neck and neck, yeah. Now, uh, the slightest of these, but incredibly close between these two position ones. Both playing Mask of Madness. Want to point out how good Liquid's warding is right now. The ward between the two towers, mid and the ward aggressively up top lane, has given them a lot of information. It's always great when you're playing with Nature's Prophet if you have deep wards, because if you can predict the enemy's movement, you can be very well prepared to just outnumber them in every turn. And of course, this type of vision makes it very easy to hit the Wrath of Nature as well when it is a cooldown soon for Matumba Man. Uh, well, not Matumba Man, Mind Control. Mind Control. Mind Control. Man. I don't blame you there. Matumba Man, of course, is very, very good. Well. Uh, oh, Coral. Coral is in no man's land this time around. Very, this very deep round. Hey, PTF, did you have to duel up? He does. That'll be an extra bit of bonus damage. Very, very nice for the Legion Commander. Plus 20 already at 10 minutes in. He'll certainly take that. Liquid? So you're going to look to try and strike back and catch Newbie off guard. They're smoked up on the high ground. SCCC would be a lovely catch, but he himself, of course, very hard to, to get unless they land a silence from Miracle, really. Again, is it one of these games with a bit of a lack of lockdown? And as you said, no skill point. Not much at all they can do to trap. At least they'll force down their, their mid lane, tier one being pressurized. Still got done a great job. SC is still very far behind. He's currently six on the network. And by quite a large margin as well. Alright, for the lead in. Tries to get the AoE stun off the creep. Potentially hoping for for miracle. Matumba nice flank behind the support. Oh yes, draining onto Faith on the silence of Faith. It still manages to survive. Good bonus match from Kaka, but the old comes flying through for the Nature's Prophet. That's one down. Look towards Kaka, gets the magnetize off. Liquid still looking to pursue forward. Newbie oh, back at the cover of the tier two. Turn around, huge burst. That will hold Liquid back. <laughs> it's definitely. I mean, we saw them, even though they picked the Legion first. Point, point I mean, <laughs> it's a strong spell. So. All right. And it's perfect against the kind of lineup that Liquid are running. Yes. They are bound to group up quite a bit. TP needs to come in close to deal damage, so does Lycan. Uh, Nature's Prophet's Trance can help amplify it as well. But mission accomplished for Liquid. They got the mid-tower, that's what they came for. And now I think the next thing Liquid are planning for here is going to be Roshan. They will be for sure. able to they kill it, take it pretty quickly. They don't have any minus armor item just yet. I would imagine no. we will see one on either of the supports getting a medallion. Loving this from Miracle, buying the Hood of Defiance this game. Yeah, we just saw it from that overwhelming odds exactly why you need that. And the answer still one of the, the counters essentially that Newbie have to the way that Liquid are trying to play this game. And uh, both cores are indeed going for that same weapon. Mask of Madness into Armlet. Both close in at similar rates. Two of them are slightly ahead. And I mean, 
think with that on top of the Mask of Man, there's definitely a quick potential for Liquid to try and sneak a Roshan. They certainly also, with this sort of lineup, could try and smoke up and get a kill. They've already managed to get some good map control around a bit with those two tier ones down in the middle of the top lane, limiting the uh, angles that Newbie can approach the pit of. People in the top corner start to move towards him up top liquid. Yeah, out to safety, and the will be fine. Still, though, Miracle has got the Invis rune. That's on KP. Move up to the high ground. Good tree and placement here from Mind Control. Spots out two cores, so. Liquid know what they're dealing Dyer's with right now. We saw the TP from Sven. Attack. Interesting game, by the way, as far as the graphs are concerned. The Liquid with a, a gold lead but unexperienced deficit. This, of course, they played three towers to the zero of Newbie. But the experience advantage probably mainly coming the way of Sven. Miracle's patience here has time to continue to maintain vision of KP and now Liquid. They'll close in on the Legion Commander and it'll be an easy kill for the side. As that's the Legion out, down for 30 seconds. With this time, they could look towards Roche. They definitely could. It's a big kill as well. KP is worth a lot of experience. He's level 11 and a half. Highest level in the game, actually. Even above the Sven. Not anymore, I suppose. Oh, they're going for Sven as well. This yeah. is a big kill if they get it. And he's on his own. There is a Shrine to TP too, but it looks like no TP available at the moment on Newbie. He has the Warcry to try and help him out. But Miracle, there with the wraparound, dukes out the Boulder Smash attempt from Kaka. There'll be a Stormheart Bolt to try and hold them back, but it's not enough. Liquid to bring down New Knife. The big kill that they would have hoped for, the most farmed member of Newbie, of course, at this moment in time. And with those two quick kills, go ahead into Roche. KP is back up. 20 this seconds until the Sven is there. They could contest this. This is dangerous for Liquid, I think. Newbie have a lot of AoE damage in Nukes. So the Ghosts are out, though. Liquid are pretty strong. Great good Winter's curse. curse from GH to hold them back. The three-man silence follow-up from Jukuroki comes across in the snowball. Great onto Faith. They've already eliminated the two supports. They would have loved to look for initiation, but as you mentioned, just GH straight up with the Winter's Curse. And just the AoE silence making it impossible as Miracle lands it nice in the low ground. Landing they everything. can't even walk past them. Great, great stuff from Liquid. This is amazing play coming out from them this game. Very, very different Liquid to the start of this series. And Newbie really wanted to take this fight because they have a fresh fail on SC. He finally now, has his first again, item. It's perfect. Yeah, they have the good vision placed down. The heroes are moving in together. It is crucial that Faith gets caught in this curse. He doesn't manage to get global off. And the fight is already lost then. Not able to save the Earth Spirit. The reason this fight can get really scary for Team Liquid is that they're clustered uh, up three heroes in the end. Some smiles on Kuro there. He's like, oh, we're winning. Having we're doing giggle. it, guys. Dyer's Having a giggle. Is under Having attack. a giggle indeed. Ten for six. Definitely by no means. Massive advantage for Liquid, but a certain one at the least. Newbie still. The best Triple C trying to climb his way back to the ranks. U9, in terms of wider progression. She uh, changed his mind. He did have the armor queued up, uh, but picked up the sand. He's looking directly for the SMY first. Yeah. I think he might feel like it's too difficult to use the armlet. There's so many things that are annoying the, soul, the Spirit Siphon. The exorcism, the walls, hard to toggle through all of this. Just goes for the stable. Common build nowadays is this mask into SY. And it, to me, it just seems like it's just a matter of time before Newbie find a good engage. If they get a good jump fairly soon, before Liquid build a big enough advantage, I still favor Newbie in team fights. I think ease of execution is, is on their side. And the big hero to look out for for Liquid is the Winter Wyvern. A key curse. Here we go, they're trying to look to close the gap onto you now, but KP's actually going to be one that wants to die and jump in on the fight. The Global Silence used as well to so make sure they get a clean pick off onto Miracle. They'll turn towards the Wyvern. and GH will fall as well. And exactly as you just mentioned, Sim, Juby having this opportunity to look for this perfect sort of fight, and when they get a duel and the Global Silence off, it's very easy for them to, to execute. Exactly, and they found the right target. So the one thing that is happening during all of this with Liquid winning fights is that they're five manning a lot, and this Death Prophet is not that high level, not that long for oh, actually going to die here as well. As well. Oh, no. More money into the bank for U9. 
striking back quickly. It's all a matter of getting the jump. It really for is. Newbie. They, they have a guaranteed kill every fight if they instant global. The Wyvern is a great counter pick Ooh. to the Legion, but the Silencer in turn has been so far not that effective, but we see the potential of it right there if they get the jump. Their follow-up is so amazing on the, on the Newbie side. Might see GH. I'm not sure if he's going to decide to switch out this blink for another item so he can break global, because that is a really big problem. He will set to very close to being done for Miracle, so at least he will be able to save himself. Unless he gets jeweled, then he's just he still gets dead. <laughs> for sure. If he's fast at reacting, if he has vision and they bait the Legion to jump in and he instant duels him, that could make an amazing Legion. fight for Legion. Absolutely. Yeah. And then as soon as he comes down, getting fast, it's the silence. Yep. Definite ways that the, the quick hand turn a bad in the As we saw, he can do it cleanly. Very hard for Liquid to fight. Keeping up the pressure nicely here. They just lost the fight, but they still identify that they can claim this tier 2 bottom freely. Now, Newbie are in this awkward position in the game where they've had a couple of good fights. They have a decent amount of kills, but they haven't taken a tower. And they're struggling to push out these lanes because of the big roll. Kaka, quick roll. Yeah, can't quite get the connection onto Kaka. But we are seeing the Matuma man doing a very good job of microing these walls and getting vision in places where Newbie don't quite expect them to happen. Once again, I think Newbie will be interested in fighting this global at five. They do not have Glyph, however. They need to go in fast, else it's over. Well, they're kind of they want to go for They smoke to close the gap. KP in immediately with the Jewel. And again, there's the combination. Jewel into silence. They get one. They land the stone onto Matuma. They pick a second. The Aegis is pop. Liquid, can they save the Wolf Boy? Trying to get themselves back in. GH does land the Winter's Curse. It'll be enough to find Matuma Man some time to walk off, but they'll chase it down. SCCC and Unite looking for him. They'll try and cancel GH's TP. Won't be successful, but it doesn't matter for Newbie because they're getting the bigger kill. They'll find Matuma, bring him down as well. Aegis and two cores gone just like that. And again, it's just textbook performance from this dual global silence combination. That was perfect timing. The, the Wyvern actually almost got a spell out, but immediate global once again. And Liquid, they lose the fight again. They're it's, hemorrhaging a couple of kills, oh, they, they, but they're taking objectives. They got the tower okay. again. The bottom tier three is taking damage as well. And they, they use their oh, And mid lane, they've just trapped you nine here with the shards of the roll in. Miracle ready to go inside. Oh, six on the three. And with the Sprout splitting the fight, forcing you nine and KP to run away from Kaka. It's impossible for Newbie to turn. They've just got to, got to tuck their tails and run. But there's no way Unite gets himself away. Miracle siphons him down, finds the kill. And already 20 minutes in, it's just really feeling like the game three we hoped it to be. It's in a lot of back and forth action. And both teams showing oh, us how control. they can take a uh -oh. good fight. Yeah, it could be a solo for S Triple C. Oh, unless he gets a like that, it doesn't matter. Okay, Remnant's still there for S Triple C. Held onto the third for an exact situation like that. 12-12, 20 and a half minutes in. Both teams fighting hard, and then you can really feel it here. The single elimination bracket here, Major. Miracle. He's a little bit careful. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. But yeah, Mind Control managed to get a great kill there on Kaka as well. I'm pretty sure we were following the other one on U9. But very nice kill to take down the Earth. Got a little bit too excited porting bottom. And by the way, Mind Control is really rich. It needs to be careful not to get the kill. Excellent execution from Yubi. Matsuma being brought down. The real big one. Yubi themselves composed. Everything on the line here in this game. Uh, a little bit of a... I don't think he's rolling size. What is it? Yeah. Lubricating the eyeballs. <laughs> That's uh, as the pro players do. Give them a good roll. It's good to do. That's everyone at home. Make sure you, you do blink. You don't want to dry your eyes out. It's bad for you. I see Miracle now building in towards an Octarine Core. I'm wondering if he will stop halfway to maybe consider a Ghost Scepter. Uh, okay. Or if he wants to go for maybe a casual plate mail, this seems like a really big build-up for him. But at the same time, is, yeah. there's no there's no obvious item that is just going to solve all his problems. Look at this, uh, this. These wolves are so good, aren't they? Sim? They just are. having this invis kind of tracking capability that's very hard to deal with. You're seeing starting to lay down multiple sentry wars to, to deal with this. But it, it just gives you so much information. And in a game where for Newbie it's all about getting the jump, this is only going to make it harder. I think Matumba is the best player in the world at this with Lycan. Um, Liquid were insane during, I believe it was a TI with Matumba Men's Lycan as well. Just finding, gathering so much information with this hero. 
It's. I mean, how do you play? You, you, you've kind of got to get gem ready. You can't afford to just sentry up the whole map. Yeah, it's difficult. It's, it's one of the big advantages that this hero has. This is a big moment. Everything is ready for both sides. And yeah, Yubi can react. Major Prophet Ultimate. Oh, smoke's right. gonna break. Let's see who gets the jump. Kakas already in the two tree lines. They saw him now. Yeah, they've got the water on the high ground, so they will know the liquid have come in for this movement. Yubi, do they want to try and jump in themselves? That's the question. Bring down one of the walls. Siege will be sent over, so both teams are realizing that Yubi are gonna get that perfect opportunity uh, to jump. Oh, I see Tom. Later. And Yubi want to get information Dyer's around Roshan, but this could cost them the wolves again. Allowing Liquid to have this vision to set up the sort of play or jump that they can find. Chasing. But in terms of sort of long range catches, it's, it's a little harder for Liquid for sure. They need to have a uh, uh, or a good sprout. Mind control will sprout out the spent. He's got the quelling blade in his backpack. He's got no way to come through the trees. He's been surrounded. We'll get the chance to stop, but it doesn't matter. The exit isn't there. The Winter's goes. Oh, GH is beautiful. He catches three to silence the snowball. Four is through for Liquid. And it's going to be a full five man team wide Liquid. Are just stepping it up every every game in the series, and that fight was one of the most beautiful ones we've seen so far today on the main stage. Sin, absolutely perfect from everyone on Liquid. You can get so much value out of Sprout. Sometimes it's amazing, and obviously at this point, the Sven is just punching himself in the head for having this mithril hammer. I believe it wasn't in it, isn't it? Hey, in his instead of the clothing. in his backpack. And he was like, oh, oh, I made a horrible mistake. And this is such a big grab for Liquid. They get, I think that was, they got a five-man wipe, they got a tower, they got a buyback from Legion, and they will be able to set up for Roshan now as well. That was absolutely and insane. And GH, that positioning he got himself into, you saw who being able to get the blink first. In situations like that, where you can just transform one kill into a team wipe, and it's because of GH, getting there with the Winter's Curse onto the back lines. And then there's just so much AoE to follow through. The, the death prop is brilliant with the Winters, guys. You, you're going to get this easy mode amount of silence. They've sort of, they've basically got a pseudo global silence on their side, Liquid, and it's at a much less cool day. Just getting so much information. It's not only the Wolves, it's also the Treant. Like, it's hard for Newbie to catch a break here, make any sort of move. Liquid we'll hard just ready for it. There as well. I mean, as we mentioned, poor old U9, no way to cut his way out. And then GH is there. The shards as well, of course, from Kuro contributing to bringing them all together for that initial connection. And there was no way that Newbie could play their way out of that sort of team fight. GH. And that's what, again, one of the best Wyverns in the world. Opposite of the previous game where we had a little bit of help brain syndrome from Liquid early on, they could have cut the Sven there. And like, that, that was a mistake, you know. But. It's a big core, it's tempting to try to help them there. They might be able to get slight change, create the space they need to back away, maybe get a turnaround with Global. Liquid, where they're in full force, they got the perfect jump. They're building a big advantage now, 12,000 gold. Roche is up, should be theirs for the taking. They have way better information all the time than Yubi. Yubi sitting on one good Roche ward that they kind of have to play around. And Sven finally picking up this BKB could give them options. This Absolutely, means they yeah. have to put the Winter's Curse on him, yep. or he will be able to go for more plays. Obviously, can ignore the curse during BKB on other targets. And it means he's got a slot in his back, uh, in his, uh, his items. Very nice. So that will not Very be. Very necessary. <laughs> definitely against these sort of sprouts from mind control. And he's working on a Blink Dagger next. I think this is the exact correct choice. Even should have maybe considered buying it earlier, I'm not sure. It seems to be the case that newbies just need to get the jump, as we've seen before, but struggling to find the advantage simply because of all the scouting once again. Maybe a gem pickup now wouldn't be half bad for them, but who's going to buy it? They all want to make yeah, progress to the next item. Just, oh, it's how do you move around the map if you're newbie? I mean, you do, but it's, 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 it's like a map hack. Liquid know everything. Dyer's and it's even difficult to smoke, attack. not because the wolves see you smoke, Dyer's but because they see so much of the map yeah. that if you have multiple heroes missing, it becomes pretty apparent for Liquid. Oh, not again, U9. Are eyeing him in mid with the wolves. Not going for it though. Dyer's Finally, Yubi get their tower first top. tower of the game. 27 minutes they in. They are into the Roche bit. Can they get away with this? Taking it without Liquid knows it. It's very, very no. slow. And yeah, with these wolves moving around, not a chance that Newbie can do anything like that. They can't go for the sneaky play. They have to fight Liquid head on. 
Well, managed uh, to try and maintain his balls a little bit better and better. And talking about the wall problem, and Superman going in will be chewed up, but the stun's there. Global Silence comes out in time, making sure the GH can't get through with the follow of Winter's Curse. But Superman, though, still sitting on maximum health here. Boulder smashed by Kark as they try and hold him back. Unite goes in. Uh, again, he's been sprouted. This time, will cut his way out, but Mind Control's there with the wraparound. Lays down hard with the Silver Hedge hit and the Maelstrom that he's now picked up on the Nexus Prophet. Again, it's a big trade at the moment for Liquid. They'll catch Faith as well. Only losing Kuroki. Picking up two from Doobie, including that big old kill on the spin. Once again, the BKB not making the difference that Newbie would have hoped for. And Newbie seems to be starting to show some nerves here. This, this duel was actually pretty damn good, but the global took a full second to come through. And yes, it prevented the curse, but GH already got off the cold embrace in the Lycan. So this entire duel effectively completely wasted as they don't have any damage to lay into him. And then once it ends and they have the global sounds running, they don't find the key picks, they only get Kuroki. The course are fine and dandy and Matumba Man full health. It's like, okay, the biggest counter you have to me in the fight was wasted. Let me just run at your heroes and kill you off. Just Liquid again. Bigger and bigger lead. Yubi have to be really attack. crisp on this. If they finally get a duel, they finally get the opportunity, the global needs to be immediate. It needs to be instant during this during this duel, or it's just not happening. GH now with a full mechanism. Your guarding is complete as well. 300 or so gold, and that will be in his pocket. And then even in that situation, if, if you draw the global silence with the Greaves aura and the buff, it's very likely you still save the target. Yeah, the Greaves are going to change the yeah, game changer for him. Yeah. The problem that he had before is now going to appear in a 250 gold. That's actually the biggest item pickup of the game, I feel like. It's, when it's he, when massive. He gets these Greaves, it's I mean, we've seen the plays that he, he's been able to pull out under pressure and now having that comfort. The t -bar. Very scary. Another man. Is he going to make his way up top? The ultimate form. And. Uh, it's just a push, but at this stage, the cooldown not too long to, to play around at all, and unlikely that newbie are going to be able to find the chance to fight and pressure whilst it's unavailable. Bottom lane, Liquid may find a bit of solo action. Kaka is pushing out the lane at the moment on his own. And he's just been caught out here. Spots him. actually going to go for the play. There will be bringing gas triple C across with the boss, but this could go bad for Liquid. Quickling back by a triple C, making sure that he doesn't get silenced, and he will just leave Kaka for dead. So, at the least, S triple C with the good realization after teaming out that this instantly was not the place he could be. Yeah, had to get out of there immediately. Oh, Liquid, they still have about two minutes left on this night time, of course. We actually haven't even talked about how the whole game. Yeah, I just realized sure. it's a good spell. They have night time, they have Aegis. Could be a possibility to think about how ground. Uh, about how ground. How yeah. ground? Yep. Bring out the best in Mion. Yep. Out of multiple orifices. Yeah, okay. Bottom lane. Toby Comet. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, let's see if. Um, if Liquid are able to break high ground here. They are. AC coming in. Yeah, all right. It's a full commitment. Let's go. Let's see what Newbie can do to stop this. Up to the high ground. They try and go. The jewel's there. And there's the Global Silence. Can they bring down Miracle in time? Yes, they can. And huge amounts of burst. U9 just cleaving through them here with a God Strike. They managed to shut down two. They've lost KP. But Newbie are holding. And it's a strong hold as well, and they're not quite done. The Dust connects onto Mind Control. Kaka goes forth the high ground, chains onto two. There will be a snowball to find them sometime. Is it enough to get anyone out there? No, Mind Control's out and down. The third death for Liquid. And Newbie, they are not done yet. They'll move on for a full croaky. Trying with the juice. We'll dodge the roll with the chains there from S-Triple-C. And Newbie, they hold. They cut Liquid down incredibly hard. Four heroes hitting the deck. And Liquid maybe just getting a, a little too ahead of themselves there. It, it was straight up. They had the, uh, the the exorcism, but there just was not enough self sustain to keep that DP alive. The global silence and the duel, no delay this time. Instantly a reaction. Right, so I'm not sure which one of these things happened in the fight, but either Wyvern didn't have Greaves yet, or Wyvern was out of position, or the Greaves were on cooldown. One of those three things definitely happened here for GH. 
and it made the world of difference. If he yeah. gets, if it's he gets uh, Cold Embrace off there, the fight's completely different, or a curse. I mean, I believe uh, what could have maybe happened is again, he could have debuffed the first, but then a second instance of Sonic came through. Maybe the Earth uh, Kaka caught him out. Could have been, I didn't see, yeah. but regardless, he can't. Oh, Kaka, speaking of him, he's going to get killed off by Absolutely, him. chopped down but by the big wall. And Simba, chins up. GH has to be really careful with his positioning out. Yeah. He's been super good so far in this game, but if he comes in just a little bit too close and gets caught by anything, Sven's done. Yep. A, a silence from the Earth Spirit after Global. It's fight deciding. Liquid will be going straight away once again, it looks like. They want to get at least the Tier 3, knowing now Global is on cooldown. There's an empty Earth Spirit dead. They yeah. still have Aegis. EP ulti is still available, actually. I guess it just came off cooldown again. Octarine yeah, plus... Octarine doing magic. Got it. There's a lot of people out. 110 seconds with that. And I, I, this I, is the harder hold, actually. It is. Without your global, you are losing a big tool, but it is just 40 seconds. It is nearly back up. U9 actually going to get the connection straight up. So the Jumper Man jump in, Miracle out with the Exorcism, Siphon, force U9 back. They managed to open up for the Rack. Damage flying through heart from the Timber Man. The fortification comes out. Newbie and they hold the Timber Man still with the Aegis and PKB, of course. There's the jump in the duel. They'll get it onto Miracle. The Silence comes back unavailable. They'll pop it out. They've managed to take down two. The Aegis has popped as well. Newbie are holding. There'll be a snowball fall from Kuroki trying to finish off the kill on the Legion Ball. We'll get KP, but they're going to lose three. But Tumor Man BKB is trying to man up against Faith. The war cry slowing down his pursuit. Faith with the Ghost Scepter survives. They've lost four on Liquid, but Tumor Man will get the melee racks. Can he get his way out of here? That's the question. And it looks like he has got the time. He runs out. Kaka looking for the kick. Oh, and the chain wow. slide of this combo from FCCC catches out Matumba. And Newbie will finish off Liquid. They lost the melee racks, but they hit back so damn hard. Liquid, they can't afford to make these plays anymore, Sin. U9, super clutch in that play. The moment Global Silence comes out during the duel, he blinks but on the back line and instant stuns the Wyvern, taking him completely out of the fight, killing him off solo. And again, this entire game has been played around Global Silence. It's the most important ability. Global Silence in duel. Newbie, best fight from them the whole game, that one. So good coordination with everything. Instant Global and duel, catching off the Wyvern speaker. Oh, very Ooh, quick blink there. Very quick blink. And GH, I think that, that fight was super ready for it. So ready for the... Under attack. With the Greaves that he might not have been paying attention to the defense movements. It's, it's, these fights are really chaotic. It's hard to follow through with everything here. Keep up with it. Miracle. He dies so it's, quick. I mean, that's the overall Instant though. dies every fight. Surely you, you, you have to be worried for Liquid in that sense. Because they've done that a couple of, well, three times. It was the third time it felt like they've gone for that push and it's just cost them massively. You can't do I mean, Newbie, SCCC and U9 are just going to start to scale up. Yep. And as the game goes on, I, I, is a Death Prophet and a Lycan really going to keep up with those two? I think this game gets really difficult for Liquid when it goes very late. I, I definitely agree with that. They still have a bit of a buffer, and they obviously did get the barracks. So it, they it did get the melee racks. Not a complete disaster for look them. Look at but the gold swing. Yeah, it, That's it, a lot of not, money to pay for a melee racks. It's not ideal by any means. I still think UV overall were the victors of the last five minutes, even though they lost the lane. Um, Especially the gold coming in for, I would say, the Ember Spirit is getting really important. So what is happening now is that SCC is closing in at his level 25. He will have the Octarine coming up in 100 gold. And the amount of control that he can output is an issue for Liquid. They, they don't have much to fight with after the BKBs expire. They're going to get completely controlled by all of these stuns and silences and whatnot that Newbie can bring at them. So they have this short timing window with the 9 second BKB on the Furion and the 7 second BKB on the Lycan where they need to get the job done. I feel like once those BKBs are out, their team fights are flat out weaker in sure. almost every single aspect. But then that's one thing that Liquid do have. There is potential to play this the rat style. They, they've already done the, what they needed to. They've opened up the base, taken down that melee rack. So there is an avenue of opportunity to get themselves in there. I mean, the question is, Newbie's lineup, they do have, as you mentioned earlier, the Ember. Uh, do you feel have they got enough to deal with uh, Liquid if they do start to split up and uh, really go heavy in with the split push? I think Ember is a really key hero in that regard. He can he can do a lot of pushing on his own with fairly minimal risk in this game. If you look at the heroes he's facing, and especially the item build coming out for Mind Control. Until now, Mind Control can't control the Ember. But with this Orchid that he's building into, maybe a full Bloodthorn, it could get a bit trickier for the Ember Spirit, who in this game has not gone for a Lincoln. There's no defensive items, potentially. There's smoke now coming from Newbie. This is once again a big moment. Ember can connect on this mid-wave. Needs to be careful not to TP. Okay, it's gone. Miracle, getting rid of that. I 
the ground being marked by Kuroki. That's what I get. Out of there, Kurome pose like there's the jump though. Still, newbie will still find it. The global science and Jill being pop. GH gets too close. The cleave just rips him down. They've lost the winter wide, but on the sidelines, Kuroki will find the kill onto the Earth Spirit. But two and a half pops the ultimate of the BKB. Looks towards U9. The still bridge from Mike Scott limiting the output of the Sven. They do find a third. Out in the tree line, KP will blink away, but Liquid managing to fight past that ultimate. The initiation not strong enough for Newbie. There'll be a buyback from SCCC. U9 has got buyback available, but there's no God Strength. They're massively limited in what they can do here, Newbie, and Liquid are ready to abuse it straight down the mid. They'll clear down the tier three. Newbie, what can they do with limited options here? SCCC with the jump forward, chains onto two. Trying their best to hold Liquid away from picking up a second set of racks for the time being. Looks like it may just be enough with the exorcism running out. The could will back. The duel, they come in. Can they protect the Timberman? The solar crest, the snowball, it may just be enough to protect it from this duel. They've got the lockdown on KP. KP's out, but Timberman survives. The this one, they're trying to get the side of this down. They're falling low, but he doesn't matter. You know he's down. There's a dieback from Sven, a dieback from S Triple C, a liquid. They may have definitely, well, they've definitely done it here, Sid. Both calls on Newbie down for 100 seconds. No way for them to get back in this game. GG is called, and Liquid are moving on. Clearly Liquid's best game in the series. What a, what a turnaround from game one to game three. This series has just been an upward spiral and a sharp one as well for Liquid because at the start, it looked incredibly grim for them. I really liked in this game how well Liquid played. I've said it a couple of times, the whole vision thing, but this last fight is all vision. Kuro, superior positioning on the high ground, completely counters Kaka's attempt at engaging on him with the Earth Spirit. The Wolves in position once again. And Liquid, even though that fight, GH died without getting cursed off, he got the Cold Embrace off. He got once the Cold Embrace off again. It's These enough. little windows, this all execution at the end of the